Hey guys, welcome back. Houston Math Prep here. In this video, we're going to be talking about the pros and cons and comparing each measure of center to one another. So we're going to start with the mean, the average, and talk about what's good about it and what are some potential drawbacks of it. So good things about it are that it uses every data value. So every data value is used in the calculation of the mean. We call measures of center or measures of spread or position, all these statistics that we can calculate that use every data value, we call those reliable. So the mean is a reliable statistic because it uses all data values in its calculation. One of the drawbacks of the mean though is that it can be greatly affected by a very, very large or very, very small number that is atypical for that data set. So it can be pulled up or down by what we call an outlier. So an outlier would be a data value that is really high or really low compared to most other data values. So the mean can really be skewed or affected by data values that are very different. We call that behavior being not resistant. So I'm going to say not resistant, meaning it can be pretty affected by those outliers. It's not resistant to their effect. So let's move over to our next column, our median. So the median has a con that is the opposite of our pro for the mean. It is not reliable because only the center one or two data values are used. So only center values are used. So we would call that one not reliable. If you get kind of a wacky center one or two, you might get a median that isn't really representative of the data that you have. The median though, because it only relies on the center one or two values, is very resistant. Those outliers, those data values that are way, way at the edges that don't really fit with everything else, they don't affect the median. So a pro of our median is Outliers do not affect it. So it is resistant. All right, and our final measure of center is the mode. So the mode has kind of mostly cons. <laughs> so the mode um, is kind of a weird measure of center. It is interesting to find, but it doesn't usually tell us about much about the data in general. It just tells us that that one or two, you know, couple of values appear a lot. That doesn't necessarily tell us about the center of our, of our data, really. So we're just going to say this one is not usually representative. Okay, it is actually technically not reliable because it doesn't use all the data values and it's also not necessarily resistant because if you have four or five really really large values that still don't fit with your other let's say 95 values your mode might be one of your outliers. So this one is not reliable. and it's not resistant. All right, guys, so there's our quick comparison of our three measures of center. In future videos, we're gonna talk about well, what does that all mean? What does it mean to know that one is reliable, the mean, and one is resistant, the median? How do I know which is better in a given situation? Coming soon. Catch you in the next video.